opening statement from Coach Kemper? Yeah, so excited about our, our home openers in the Sun Belt, um, coming off of two road wins that were well earned, difficult at times, but our, our team found a way. Um, I guess proud of how they started. Uh, we talked about that, I guess, before we left, that it's you want to start at home if you can. Um, but if you get a chance to go on the road and, and find a way to win them both, I think it really helps um, hopefully elevate where you can get in conference play. So we understand it's super early, um, but it's also good to be 2-0 and and 2-0 and from, from a road perspective. So um, had some good individual performances. Te team defense both games was good. Um, didn't give up. Pretty stingy. Uh, I think the second night at Appalachian State, that's a team that really scores well at home. So to hold them to, to uh, 52, I think, at home, I was really proud of that. Um, Rose Scott was really big in both games. Hit a, hit a very tough um, fadeaway jumper to, to win the South Alabama game. And then she had a tremendous second half at, at Appalachian State to help get us over the hump there. Uh, Mo Matthews really good. I think 14 points, 15 rebounds at Appalachian State and not on the scoreboard, uh, guarded a guard and her ability to move around defensively really helps us. So um, proud of them for finding a way. Shift to two really good teams here at home. Um, James Madison, if you look at metrics of our league, they're, they're the top team in the net and things like that. I think they've won nine in a row or something close to that as a team. So obviously they're playing really well. It's a traditional power in women's basketball, so great to have an opportunity um, this early in the season to play a game that means something here at home. So, um, and then Georgia Southern, they're they're a challenge in that they they're like the second best scoring team in the country. Uh, they play very fast. They hit you with a bunch of different presses and defensive looks, and so we'll have to be really good on a short flip on Friday for that Georgia Southern. Um, double header with the men um, for Saturday. Any questions? Yeah, I was going to say each of the games that you've won here during the streak, I see development too, not just winning. Do you see the development? What kind of stands out? Yeah, I think that I think the thing that stands out is they have just found a way, and it. I think we've won four in a row, and it started with at home against um, St. Bonaventure. And we played a lot of that game not very well. And, you know, we struggled and it was a slog. And at some point in time, we just kind of flipped and we, we got enough stops in a row and, and put good offense with it um, to win that game. And then uh, you, they've just kind of, I think they've discovered ways to win in different fashions. And, but they're, I think in all the games, I'm starting to see at times where they can kind of go, all right, let's center ourselves and, and find a way through this, this mess, which that's basketball. You know, I mean, James Madison is going to have some really good stretches of basketball on Thursday. And for you, you have to develop a team that can weather those storms and figure out a way to counterpunch. And this group has really done a good job of that, I think, especially over the last probably six, seven games, honestly. Is that a credit to their will? Or is it also just grasping what you and the staff want? I think it's both. I think it's both. We This is a team that hasn't been together very long. And so um, there's definitely a portion of it that is they're learning each other. Um, they're learning how I feel like we're going to win games. Um, so, you know, you're, we definitely are trying to create an identity um, that's similar to the way we've always won. Um, but we've had, we have so many new people in new roles that it's not, you can talk about it, right? But you've got to put it to play in the way that, that things happen on the court. And I think you're starting to see that. And ho hopefully it, it continues, right? I mean, we got off to a good start in conference play. It's super early, you know. But it is fun to be, have an opportunity to play in a game like this. Yeah, I think I think that that's that's a valid point. I mean, we're nine and four now, and um, I don't know where that that sits as far as 
you know, getting off to a good start, but it's a pretty good start. And look, the four losses are quality teams. They're all, um, last week, I think um, Grant Trailer tweeted that maybe they were like, the, the four losses are combined like 42 and 12, okay? So we're nine and four, and even the times where we haven't been able to win, it was against a really good team. So um, I do think that this group has, when you look at how much we replaced um, in terms of scoring, rebounding, things like that, for them to, to put it together and translate into wins where we're at at this point in the season, I think says that that's happened a little bit faster than maybe I thought it might. What are the um, pleasant surprises then? I, they're, they're competitors to me. And their, their will to, to, like I said earlier, find a way to, to come out feeling good. You know, and that's a skill in basketball that's really important because you end up playing a ton of close games. So um, your ability to learn, um, to value every possession on both ends of the floor and things like that. I mean, sometimes it takes a while for me to instill that in them. And they seem to have grasped that pretty quickly. But they're competitive. Um, you know, I, I see that in practice even. We play little competitive games. And we have multiple people that want to take the last shot to win the game. And that's, that's a good thing. Any other questions from online? Yeah, I think, I think that you're right. We have to be excited to play and also grounded in the challenge that sits before us, which is you know, what looks like one of the best teams in the league on Thursday night. So um, you have to have the excitement, um, we, but I think that's going to come from both teams, right? I think they're going to be excited as well. So um, we have to understand the things that we feel like are important for us to play well and feel good at the end of it. Um, they have to bring the excitement to play, uh, but I know they will do that. It's got to translate into, are we doing the things that we want to do against James Madison? And you're, you're also playing a team that can counter really well. So if we might be able to do X, you know, one, two, and three on our list, and they have multiple things that they can go to after that, players and probably schemes as well. So it, uh, we've got to be calm um, and also understand that it's, it's good to be, after two games of conference play, nine and four, with a 12 and two team coming in here, um, opportunities like that. Uh, we are trying to grow that in our program. You know, there's, when you look at the banners, there's not a lot out there for women's basketball over the years. So we, ha I think, steadily have grown into more games like this, but it's an important game early in the year. Thank you. Here's Ari. This is Marshall Ford, Ariana Redmond, who scored um, a match your career high with eight points on Saturday's win over App State. So, any questions for Ariana? I was just getting a focus here. <laughs> Build off of that performance and also, as, not just for you individually, but as, as a team. I mean, you guys got to be feeling pretty mm -hmm. confident right now on a four game winning streak. I mean, I feel like it's just we just got to get back to work. Every day is another challenge. We just got to keep getting over the hump. Um, I make use of my minutes. Anything I can do for this team to get us to the next level and to get us winning, that's all I, I'm really here for. And just, yeah. What's been kind of meshing or, or clicking? Because you guys could have easily just folded. And then you make a big rally. I mean, those are two mm -hmm. big road wins, the way you guys did it. Uh, what is the secret ingredient, I guess, for why you guys are clicking and meshing and just not folding? Um, I think it's all we just really want to win. I feel like we have a lot to prove in this new conference. Um, and we are just we just some dogs. Like, we just, every, every, every time we get a chance to go out there and play is, is a blessing. So I feel like 
the more the, if we're down, we're still going. We're not going to knock us down. It's really hard to. So we all just want to win. I feel like that's what it is. We want to prove to everybody that we can be who they don't want, who they don't want us to be. Um, I think that co our coaches have prepared us to stay steady during this um, this time. It's something we haven't seen before. I mean, maybe individually, but together, it's we're we're ready for this. Um, we just have to stay grounded, hit our shots, do what we need to do. It's going to be fun, and then we we live for we love having fun out there. We love playing basketball. So the more fun we have, the better it's going to be. Um, it's going to be really fun. You know, it's it's sad that she's not here, but, you know, now she's a part of the other team. Now we gotta we got to compete. I mean, it's going to be a lot of smiles. Good to see her again. But once you get on that floor, it's it's time to go. We've got to uh, do our assignments and do what we have to do, and hopefully we end up on the on the better half. And last thing for me, Coach mentioned the losses that you guys do have. Mm -hmm. uh, look, they're good teams. Is that – do you think you've learned from those losses making it – I guess the so-called battle tested. Mm -hmm. I mean, was that a good preparation? Do you think the schedule has allowed you guys? Now you're on a winning streak, but those losses might have been beneficial to where mm -hmm. you're at in conference play. No, I do. I feel like it prepared us, just like the small details that maybe just we we weren't uh, finishing on in the beginning. Now, like we know we have to do to beat those teams and to compete in this league because it's it's not a big difference with the intensity and everything. So, I feel like that was a great start for this conference play. It prepared us for the physicality, the like the ball handlers, like we're now we know what to do and it's just gonna be it's gonna be a little not easier, but it's gonna be more better to handle when going into these harder games. Something I wanted to close with you guys got ice cream after that game against <laughs> App State. Yeah, having some fun as a team mm -hmm. off the court as well, right? Mm -hmm. It seems like no, yeah, we love each other. Like we spend, if we're not here, we're at somebody's house together. They're over at my apartment together. Like we, we, we try to gel more off the court since we all haven't had a lot of time together. So the more time we do get to spend, the better our chemistry will be on the court. And I feel like it's translated, as a lot of people can see. Like we're just uh, having a lot of fun out there. Anything else from anyone? Actually, I got a couple of <laughs> No, these are just gibbets. I'm I'm a big Croc fan, so I like to show my show my little flavor and all my my personality with all the shoes I have. So this is just a little a little start. <laughs> Mariana, thank you. Thank you.